teaching kids, you, mine, all of them, let me get you a little bit straighter there, how to bake. Um, so if you go through the playlist here on YouTube, you will see that there is a bunch more recipes. We would love for you to watch them all. Say hi to us as well. You know what I want to know, Ox? And I reckon this would be really cool. Can you tell us when you're watching this, in the um, comments, where are you watching from? Wouldn't it be cool to know I'm what watching. states and stuff that you guys are watching from? And what device are you watching from? Oh, that's a good one. All right, so we're making lemon bars. What's the very first thing we have to do always when we're baking? What's the very first rule? Turn on the oven. Whoop, whoop. Okay, 180. So, you know, that's okay. So you're at two function and you're a fan cook. Yep, to 180. Perfect. The reason that you always want to get your oven on first is... So you don't have to wait 30 minutes until after you've made it. That's right, and for it to heat up after you've made the food. So the very first thing we need to do is it says put the macadamias... Wait, no, it's not heating up, is it? Yeah, it is. It's as it's heating up. So as it's heating up, we're going to put these macadamias on this tray. Mm -hmm. So whack them on there. And the reason we're doing that... Can might them out? Yeah, that'd be great, baby. Is you might see this in some of your baking recipes where it says to um, bake the nuts initially. You know why we're doing that, babe? Because the flavour that you get. Yeah, go for it. The flavour that you get from toasting your nuts versus just putting them straight in is is night and day. So if you want it to taste amazing. Spend that extra time and whack them in the oven. So, good job, mate. That's awesome. Do you want to go up here and show them? So we actually have some that are broken up. The recipe calls um, for them to be whole, but ours are a little bit broken, but that's cool. Did you want to whack it in, Della? And I think just so that we don't get preoccupied and they start to burn. You can, well, let me help you there, Della. There you go, babe. Do you want to put them on for say four minutes and then we'll check them? The reason I say four minutes is because it's not at a full temp. See there? See what it is? It says it's only at 27 degrees. Perfect. That's it. It's supposed to be at 180. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to line our dish. So whenever you're doing your baking, it's kind of important. Come back here a bit when it's sweet. Hang on. So I reckon you can cut closer to it, is that you want to check what size pan you need. And this recipe is, if you check it out below, just the little drop down arrow. This one is one from Jo Witten's. It's, it's awesome. Um, and you can grab her full recipe. The link is literally just there and you go across. And so she says do a 20 by 30 centimetre baking dish with baking paper. Awesome. Okay, the next thing we need to do, let's have a read of that, baby. What's the third? So we've done that step. We put the macadamias in. What's the next one? zest into TM bowl. What is TM Oh, that means the Thermomix. Or zest lemon with a microplane or fine grater. So we'll do that. A microplane is this guy. So this is what you use to get the zest off your lemon. Now, let me give you a trick with this lemon, babe. If you ever buy lemons that aren't organic, completely fine, no worries. But what they'll have is they'll be really shiny. Have you sometimes seen that the shops have the lemons are super duper shiny? Mm -hmm. Like what that is, is it's actually a wax. So if you go ahead and wash it, yeah, you can wash it and get that wax off. But if you were to zest it, so that basically means removing just the yellow bit and leaving the rest on there. Your pickle would be, is it all you've pulled off is actually the wax. Doesn't really taste like lemon, does it? So what you've got is perfect. Can I show you how to do that? Well, wax is very thin. It is very thin, but this one is organic. So you can go ahead Good thing it is. Just and do it like this. Do you want to have a Yeah, I was about to just say. And then when you're getting a lot of it, darling, you can just put it in that bowl. <coughs> That's great. I find that um, with the kids, you know yeah. If you turn it this way, so that the um, this bit is, is facing up, rather than having the blades facing up, it's a lot easier to learn that way. Oh, can you smell the lemon, baby? Yeah. It smells so good, doesn't it? Any wax yet? 
Yeah. No, darling, because this is an organic one, so we don't have to worry about that. But it's just a good thing to know, isn't it? So that when you're big and you've left home and you're making your own muesli bars and food, yeah, for your mates or for, for work lunches or something like that, that this is probably, we'll turn it now this other way, is one of the veggies that you want to that get organic. I saw one that said non-organic and it was so shiny on gold. Yeah, that's it. They're the ones you don't want. What could you wash it off? You can. You sometimes you need to use, like even a um, a mixture to get it off. Actually, I'd like to know what you guys do. Do any of you guys remove the wax from your lemons? I just haven't had that issue. So see here now, babe, and let's just show the guys up here. See all the zest. So let's just put it in that little one. We need the zest of one lemon, it says, in the recipe. Is that how it's zested in Yeah. So you can use this too, sweetheart, oh. to get that out. It's actually was helpful. Yeah. And sometimes I kind of... There you go. All right. The next things we need to do is it says add remaining ingredients, except for the macadamias and the currants, which we're going to use sultanas in place of that, into our bowl. There's smaller raisins. <laughs> smaller sultanas and then we need to mix it so let's start getting everything in okay oh this guy's saying he's finished should we grab let me just grab you a little one of these yeah i think we need a little bit longer okay so in our thermomix bowl we've got all of our different things in so I wanted to show you something that I broke the rules. See here, it says 120 grams, it calls for on the recipe, of extra virgin olive oil. I melted some butter because all of our olive oil is really dark and it has a lot of flavour. So whenever you see in baking for them to use olive oil, they typically don't use the ones that you'd use in a salad. The, the reason they do that is that they want something that doesn't really taste very strong. Because if we cooked with a really strong olive oil that we use in our salads, it's all you'd taste. So I use the exact same amount here, sweet. See how it says 120 grams? I just did that exact same thing of butter and I just melted it. <laughs> Job done. Okay, let's get the other bits in. Do you want to tar it? And it says, so the zest of one lemon. Do you want to pop that in, darling, with your spatula? This is such a good quick one. Um, that's okay, because it wouldn't, it would be hard to register. Do you want to use your spatula and just get every last bit of that out, sweets? And then you need half a teaspoon of vanilla powder or vanilla paste. We buy a paste. Um, it's a good sign, babe, if you see them saying that. There's about half a teaspoon there, sweets. The reason that they, if you see it as a paste or as a powder, you know it's always going to be a bit stronger in flavour than using your essence. So that's the liquid one. Okay. So if you're going to be using your liquid one, you sometimes want to be putting a little bit more in. 70 grams of honey or other sweetener. So I was going to use honey. I've got maple, but we'll use this one. Yeah. And now, babe, I'm actually going to be naughty and I'm going to break the rules here. I want you guys to do 50 grams. <coughs> what? The reason being is this is a beautiful, thick, very strong raw honey and I don't want it to be too sweet. You did it. Yeah, so what you could do here to get that off, use your spatula. I'll hold it for you, darling. Good job. So then you're not wasting any of that honey and that's always a good thing to keep in mind yeah. to not waste it because it's expensive stuff isn't it this honey was $10 it was a lot of money but it's worth it you're you worth it you're so worth all of this good food baby so I just don't want to waste any of it okay let's give this to your little or do you want to lick it or do you want to give it to your little sister you have it oh I can smell those macadamias Look at that. Perfect. Look at these nice and toasted up. Don't they look great? Okay, so it says not to put those in yet. 
The next thing, darling, is two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'll get that going for you. And while I'm doing that, can you do 180 grams of this almond meal? Did you see how my almond meal here too is light in colour? That's a blanched almond meal. So if you're cooking along at home and you've gone, Mum, mine's not white like Stace's, don't worry. You've probably still just got the husk still on your almond and that's why it's that colour. It's usually a bit browner. All right, sweetheart, do you want to grab another spoon? I don't think you want to use that one. No. <laughs> You've enjoyed that one, haven't you? I love it. That's what you get when you cook. Um, 180 grams, darling. Did you do a tar? Yeah. Oh, love it. This one's um, 10 grams. Is it? Yeah, because look, 35 will be 45 next time, look. That's so cool. Oh, it's 50. Good job. You might have had a bit extra on that. So remember, we're going to get to 180, Dylan. 65. Look, this will be It's a good play with mass too, isn't it? Like just a little reminder of your numbers. 90. Oh, you're getting close. 105. Okay, I've got some lemon juice and I'll get you to... You measure it out in a sec. And then you've got your coconut flour. Gosh, we're nearly there. Isn't this a good quick one? 150. I did 180. Nelly, keep going. <laughs> Sweet boy. I might have said 150. Sorry if I did, darling. Oh, you're so close. Keep in mind when you're getting really close, you do big ones. Do you ones? think this will reach 180? Let's see. Yeah. Hey, we have a winner. All right, my darling. Okay, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now, may I just get you this guy? So full one of those, just like that, darling, is your lemon juice. I dare say that I reckon I've got it perfect, the amount. Well, should we strain this first? No, no, it's just got some vanilla in the bottom of it. Mm, yummy. Mm -hmm. So if you do it like that, see, you can pour it in. Two. Now I've got a little bit, how much extra do we have? 205 grams. You know what? Let's just go in a little bit extra. Okay, darling, next I bit is some coconut flour, because this one's a gluten-free recipe. Wash this one off. Yeah, no worries. How much coconut flour? Come read that recipe for me, darling. 20 grams. Bang on. Oh. Go, 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 go. This is going to be easy. You tarred it? Yeah, it sounds Keep that in mind, my loves. Always, you've got to go back to tarring it. Otherwise. Mama, do you think this will get to 20 grams? Yeah, I reckon that'll get you there. <laughs> yes! Rockstar. Okay. I keep getting it on the exact amount. You know what? It's actually just practice from cooking because you're doing so much of it. You oh, start realising. No, 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 that's okay. That one doesn't need to be. <laughs> Just use it here, darling. Oh, these ones are a bit burnt in the corner. No, they'll be fine. They'll give it some flavour. Don't worry about it. Okay, I need this guy. Can I borrow this? Yeah. So it calls for baking soda. I've never used baking soda. Do you yeah. want to whack that one in? Yeah. Oh, to yeah, clean. Yeah. Yeah. I use it. I always think baking soda ends up giving a really aluminium taste. I personally, I don't like it. So whenever I see it in a recipe, I just switch Where's it straight over. Soda? See, bicarb soda, I switch it straight over to baking powder. I keep my baking powder. How can we make pancakes? And in the just a second. Says bicarb soda, but we use baking powder. That's right. Um, and I just switch it straight over. Always just straight over to baking powder. I store this in the freezer. It doesn't affect its um, growth at all. You never have it going off. Um, and it tastes great. How all right, darling. Okay. Have that uh, not long. I buy a new one every so often. Want to use it up? Okay, add remaining ingredients except macadamias and currants and mix it 10 seconds. Speed six. If you're not using a thermi, don't worry, baby. Do all this by hand. You need to put the lid on it. <coughs> 10 seconds and speed six, please. <laughs> Now 
Now you're gonna use your spatula because we'll check out and let's show everybody. Whoa, we've got a bit of a mess there, haven't we? Do you mind if I just like, give this a quick go, Donald? Yeah. Okay, now you do the sides and then come show everybody. So go around your sides with it and get it all off. What's in this one? Well, it's everything you just put in there. Will this taste delicious? I think so. No, like right now. Um, yeah. Actually, I need to just double check there's no eggs in there. Is there eggs in it? No, that must be why in the recipe Joe calls for you to put it into the freezer before you chop it. Because that'll help it hold together. So this is the texture that we've got. See there, it's a little runny. We can absolutely have a taste. Let's give it a taste now, mate. Okay. It is not a taste Oh, yum. That'll be good. Do you like it? You don't like it? Oh, I think you need a bit more lemon, to be honest. Yeah. I think let's just use a little bit more. Lemon. See, this is a good thing this about thing going to, to taste it. You don't use this. You think it's enough, it's enough. Uh, how about we put in half? Yeah. And the good thing about that is that then you can fix it, right? And you don't have to bake the whole thing and be like, uh, actually, it's not as tasty as I like. That's what they say in France, the first great wish of the dog. They know the dog can deal with it. That's right. Okay, that's good now. That's lovely and lemony. I'll actually use the last of that. That's better, hey? Yeah. But All right. So we need to get these in, sweetheart. So our mac and cheese. You like it? That's a really look at the camera, sweets. Isn't that a wonderful lesson? Try it. If it needs more, you can do that rather than instead, baking it the whole way. Instead of getting a whole gummy bear. And okay, Rodeo, right Let's go in with these. So can you use your spatula, darling? I'm not gonna do No, no, it's okay. Use this guy. Yeah. So they're putting in the macadamia nuts. You know why we're doing that into this recipe? It's to add some texture to it. Rightio. And the next thing you need is some currants, which we're going to use. Sultanas. So we need to measure it. So let's get this guy on. Now you need to tire it again once it's in. It's 1,640 grams. <laughs> Look. Oh, no, 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 I know. Okay, 100 grams of these. I think a good way to do it would be to put some in a small bowl. Uh, bowl. I'm going to put in what I think could be nearly right. Well, um, how many did it need to be? It needs to be 100. So don't put it all in. Don't put it all in. Yeah. That's because your hands are on it. Sorry. That's all right. Go. Do you want to use your spoon, darling? Yeah, that's good. <coughs> How did mommy do? 70 grams. Oh, man. Let me do a little bit more. Yeah. Only need 30 grams. I reckon Try that, baby. And as you get more and more, you know, enjoy cooking and trying it out, you'll, you will do, you'll get closer and closer and be able to eyeball these. 95! I reckon we only need five more of these. Okay, do you think each one's one gram? Maybe. Okay, yeah, let's give it a go. I think that's enough. Yeah? That's fine. If we get 100, this is going to be amazing. Hey! Good job, babe! Okay, lid on. And where are we at? What we have to do is this one. Now, I want to teach you what reverse speed is. And now, reverse speed. Let me show you what that is, darling. So they said five seconds. Wonderful. And now see this guy, what he does. Oh, no, push it again. See how it says reverse enabled? This is basically just like a quick stir. No, back down to five. Yep. And then it's at um, three seconds. Oh, sorry, maybe it was revert. I think I've gone the wrong way. Five seconds, speed three. Let's have a look. Oh, whoa! 
I think that's actually really good. Look at that. So what we can do, yeah, baby nailed it. Absolutely perfect. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so how's a good way to get the edges of your um, things to go in? Give it a bit of a crumple up. <laughs> and now, darling, do you want to get it in there? To the tray and we're gonna bake this baby we're gonna make the cake to bake the cake you're gonna bake the cake what's that one of um Walla Kazan the cake dude what does cake, he say cake, cake, take cake. is anybody else kids watch Walla Kazan mine loved it the cake monster, the cake monster one, he yeah. only eats it on my birthday okay so see how tricky that's starting to get can I show you what you can do now? What? Take this off. Take cake. This isn't really a cake. No, these ones are bars. Good thing we're going to cook this now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll take those bits out. So we're just Can getting... Can what we put in? Well, yeah. Mummy, put this in. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want to be cooking that. So see here what I'm doing, babe? I'm using the edge of the spatula. How many of these kind of things do you have? I have two, because I've got two bowls. When I bought the Thermomix, I just got given two bowls. It wasn't me doing anything special. It's just the deal that was on at the time. I, I, I actually really think I have a Thermomix <coughs> with two bowl spaces. Do they? That'd be pretty cool, I wouldn't it? That would be good. You can cook your moosey bars and your cookies. Hey, I like the way you think. All right. How's it looking for you made, guys at home? I feel like I've made something like this before. Yeah, this is a bit like the banana and peanut butter bars that yeah. we filmed. Because we've actually, my little dude and I, and my little big, we've been doing lots and lots of filming of me teaching him how to cook. Things that aren't just baking. Um, I feel like this is a bit too big a container. Let me I've just see. I've got pancakes and, that, and now I know how to cook them by heart. You do? You made us pancakes this morning? Oh, Daddy did? Yeah. Okay, I think we should do it in this one. I'll make that thing tomorrow. Mm. What? I think we should actually do that because then it gets really nice and ripe. Yeah, I know, but I think, I think this next size is a better one. I've got all of the chocolate cookies from when we made these on Monday. I love Pyrex containers. I use these for literally everything. Yeah. Because you can put them in the fridge, you can put them straight into the oven, you can use them but here. But not when they're freezing cold from the freezer. That's right, Mummy made that, that error. And it blew up. It did blow up. And we had to do it. Oh, said the size of it. So, how easy is this? Say you've got the wrong size, what can we do? Yeah, yeah baby. Now, we've got to get these guys flat. So use the back of your spatula, darling, and start by trying to get them into the edges. You'll find that if you start getting them into the edges first, can you just come up here a bit, darling, because I just want everyone to be able to see you. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, mate. Yeah. There's so many. Hang on. How long should they be in the oven for? They, well, you can read that in the next bit. Can I have a go? Yep. Yeah. So you see here, I'm pushing down in the edges first. Who makes these? And then you end up getting a mound. Where do you get this recipe? This recipe is from a lady called Jo Witten, and her website's called Quirky Cooking. She has wonderful recipes. Um, Quirky Cooking. Look, she makes a, non a nut free version, so you can take them to school. So we can try that if we like these. So see here now, baby, because I squished it out. Can you have a look at this? <coughs> see here, because I've squished this out. Now. Oh, it looks different. Look at this one. I know, well, once it bakes. And then look at this one. Yeah. All right, let's show you guys what ours looks like. 
This is what ours looks like. I'd love you to snap a photo for us and share it with us on Instagram, right now. Facebook. Right now. Let us know too in the comments. Just gonna cut these off, darling, just so there's no way for it to burn. Oh yeah, I remember when this bit cool. Yeah, we've done that a few times, haven't we? I'll just do one more check. Yeah? Sure. Um, yeah, of, of how yours looks. I'd love to see that you've been cooking it too. All right, I'm awesome. I, I think a bit under the bowl. No, 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 not under. That's good. Wonderful. Wait, okay, so how long do we need to put it into the oven for? Press dough. Keep, read that to me. Yeah. Press dough and wind baking dip and bake at 180 Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. I think we'll do 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh! That turned off. I think my oven does that actually when the timer goes off. Okay, go. Is that 180? Oh yeah, it's still hot. Yeah. So exactly that. If you ever see that the temperature says, the time says between this and that, always choose the lowest amount first so you can check it. So what was it going to be between? 15 minutes. Awesome. Well, we will show you a finished product over on our Facebook and our Instagram. Can you do 15 minutes? 15, yeah. And then push OK. Nice one, mate. Um, yeah, and we'll show you how it looks. We would love, love, love to see you cook it too. If you're liking this series, give us a like. So simple. Leave us a comment and let us know, are you going to make it? Did you make them? We would just love, love, love to hear that. And be sure to um, subscribe while you're here as well because there is some really cool edited great stuff that's coming um, from me and him, teaching him the basics of how to cook. All right. See you soon, guys. Did you want to say bye, babe? Bye. <laughs> See ya.